My name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add motion blur to your animations using the transform effect. So if we're starting from scratch, just for example, I'm going to click on this little new item button in the project media panel, and I'll create a new black video. This is a cool way to just add a blank black solid object. And we have this black video layer, which I'll drag out onto the timeline or the sequence. And I'm just going to create a circle from the generate video effects folder in the effects panel. So I'll click and drag that onto this black video. That'll just create a circle just for demonstration purposes. But this effect will work on text layers and video clips as well to get that same sort of motion blur on anything that you move. So traditionally, when you adjust the position or anything like that on a clip, Every clip comes with the motion adjustment. However, when you do adjust things in this way, whether it's the scale or the position, and you add a keyframe by pressing the stopwatch icon to toggle animation, you'll see that little keyframe come up. And you move it around, you add another keyframe. You'll see that it just kind of moves linearly. There's not really any motion blur happening. So a cool way to do that is instead of using the motion effects, we can search for the transform effect in the effects panel, and that's in the distort folder. And this is a great effect whenever you need all of those motion parameters on a clip or an adjustment layer, but you want them as an effect rather than having to use the actual motion clips, which can come in handy a lot of times. And it also has a couple other things that are not in the motion, such as skew and some, the one that we're going to use is shutter angle and turn up the shutter angle to our own custom amount all the way up to 360 for maximum but you can do something lighter or heavier and then animate within the transform effect in this case i'll for example i will go from this position on the left i'll move over this is a five second clip, so I'll move over some and I'll move it all the way to the right. And you can always grab those keyframes and adjust them out. So when I play this back, you'll notice there's a gentle motion blur. In order to make this even faster, I'll squeeze those keyframes in together. And I'll even maybe make it go back and forth a couple times. I'm just holding option on the keyboard and that'll allow me to duplicate and drag out any keyframe. That's also a clever trick, the option click and drag to allow you to duplicate layers as well. So you can see I can duplicate this layer, move the layer up, and I'll show you two different animations. So in the top one, I will set the shutter angle to zero. And in the bottom layer, we see we have the shutter angle to 360. And you can see the difference between them is this one's getting that motion blur and the other one is not. And you can also see how having two transformation effects allowed us to move things without moving the animation in a way. If I was to do this on a video clip, adding like a transform effect with a high shutter angle, and in this case, just making it like zoom up and down really fast, we see we get that motion blur happening. This is actually a preset effect from my effects pack 2 which i sell these kind of effect presets on my website as a side note but that is a quick tutorial on the transform effect and getting motion blur with shutter angles and i guess we touched on some keyframe animation as well so if you enjoyed this video check out some of the other premiere pro and video editing tutorials on my channel subscribe to stay tuned for new videos my name is justin odisho and i'll see you over in the next video